hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today on the menu we have some delicious rasta pasta and some crispy fried red snapper so right here i have two nice red snappers washed in lemon juice and water all right so i'm gonna go ahead and sneeze i said sneeze of that <laughs> Go ahead and season my fish. I have a mixture of seasonings in here, which I will leave in the description box below. With fish, you want to season to your liking. Because some people don't like too much salt, too much seasoning. But me, I like it nicely seasoned, all right? So, I'm going in with generous amounts of seasoning. Nicely. All right, rub that season into those lids. Make sure it's nicely seasoned. All right, this is a quick Sunday dinner whipping up for the fam. All right, y'all. I already have my water boiling. Oh, um, I salted it nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. the whole box all right any pastas and I'm gonna let that cook for about seven minutes actually I'm gonna add some oil in there oil in there to keep those from sticking all right all right y'all I think my oil is nice and hot let me just check it real quick drop a piece of onion in there Ooh, looking good looking good I'm gonna go in with my fish now guys Once you put your fish down, do not. And I repeat. Do not move it. <laughs> Until it's all cooked on that side. I'm going to cook it on one side for about eh, four minutes or so. And you flip them. Put them on the other side. This one's a little too big for my pot. Let me push it down in there. All right, y'all. So I lied. <laughs> These actually ended up taking another two to three minutes to cook on that one side. They are a little bigger. So, and I want them nice and crisp. So I did let them cook for another two minutes on the one side. All right. All right, so we're going to let these cook for another six minutes on the other side, okay? All right, guys, these are nice and done. Nice and crisp like we like it. Go ahead and remove those. Shake off all that excess oil. Next, we're going to start on our sauce for our pasta. Alright, to my pan, I added some avocado oil. Now, going in with my red onions and some carrots. Nicely julienne. I'm gonna make the Asher, you interrupted mommy's video, man. What's the matter? I know you hungry, hungry, hungry baby. Mommy will be done cooking in no time, honey. Okay? Just chill out for a little bit. We'll be done. Alright, so I'm gonna just let that cook down for a little bit. Let it, you know, my onions get nice and translucent and soften these carrots up. Then we'll continue with this beautiful Rasta Pasta recipe. Wanna cook them real good? Ooh, get my 
back in there. Where are you going? Where are you trying to go? Medium heat, okay guys? You don't want to burn these delicious veggies. Alright, we're going in with our cream. This is heavy whipping cream. One cup. Next I'm going to add my thyme. to dig into this deliciousness. Set that one simmer for a little bit. A low heat. Okay y'all, so I thought I was recording. <laughs> All I did that you guys didn't get was I added some all-purpose seasoning to there, about a teaspoon. And, and then I added my peppers, my green and red peppers. Didn't have any yellow peppers at the store, so it's not quite the rasta colors, but you know, it will do. It will do. I'm also going to add a little black pepper, guys. And a little garlic powder. Okay, guys, sauce is thickening up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add my mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna use what's left in my bag. It's probably a, uh, about a quarter cup. Next, Parmesan cheese. Also about a quarter cup. So you know me, I'm just gonna freehand it. Yes. Quarter cup? What y'all think? <laughs> and add our pasta now. We rest the pasta is almost complete guys. No look tree bad. y'all think I did with this pasta let me know in the comment section below guys and let me know how it was for you guys so me, me draw that noisy I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste mmm mmm that's good man wow mmm That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and also comment down below. If you guys like this content, let me know what you guys would like to see me cook next. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.